Oh, it's exciting. We've obviously never been in this position before. So, yeah, just kind of the buzz is building at home and everyone's getting really excited. And, yeah, can't wait now to get out in the pitch and play. What might be slightly different, you're one single ladies football club, but really you're taking in a wide enough geographical area you know, where <laughs> Shannon Bridge and Doom will come into this as well. Um, I know you've played together for a long time at underage and at senior as well, but it's far more than just the town of Fervan here. Yeah, no, it's a bit of a controversial uh, topic at home, all right, but um, no, we do um, we do take in a kind of a, big, a large area of Offaly, or West Offaly, say, but um, at that, like, again, it's only two girls from such and such, and, like, if you didn't have that actual centre part of Nave gear on, then, you know, there wouldn't actually be teams or there wouldn't be other places for the girls to play football, so... Yeah, it's, it's kind of necessary, I suppose. What's it like to be into a final in terms of All-Ireland level? Because you know, over the last few years, you've become the dominant force in terms of off-field yeah. football. You've got two Leinster medals now over the last three years as well, which is you know, fantastic success at that level. But um, it's going to be your first All-Ireland final. It is going to be a new experience for you. Yeah, I suppose. like We don't really know how to feel about like going into an All-Ireland final because we've obviously, again, never been in this position before. But I kind of think we're just treating it as another final, like not necessarily an All-Ireland final. Again, it's just like it's the county final. It's all, it's final day. Like You just go out and you just show how good you are and play the best you can. And like I think that's what everyone's just looking forward to do, really. If you look at the age profile of your team, it's still a very young team. Yeah. You know, there's very few players over say the age of 25 on that team but yet I guess you've played a lot of big games over the last few years it's not like you're an inexperienced team yeah no absolutely and because the age profile is so young at the moment I think like you know it's made us have such a good bond as well because we've all obviously gone to school together grown up together played all underage together so um, it's, it probably stands for us really because we have that bond and we have that kind of family um, perception of the team or whatever but um, yeah it's, it really stands to us like the experience within the team even though it's so young is just outrageous like some like some girls playing with the school all Ireland like they have all Ireland medals under the belt already with school and like um, everything really so it's it really does stand to us kind of being so young and being so knitted together really. Given, I suppose, like the story you've had of this year, nothing has come easy. Uh, the redrawing of the Leinster yeah. Championship had to be very stressful, I would say. Having to play the final with Cage and Rotary, having to play two games in the one day for the Leinster final, playing it under lights late in the evening in Kinnegad, and then a semi final that went extra time as well. Um, quite the journey you've had to get to Cavendish again. Yeah, look, well, kind of, it's all down to our management, though, keeping us in line. Like, really, like Colin and Mikey and uh, Porg and Johnny have just kind of just bet into us, really, that, look, girls, just take the positives out of everything we have to do, play another semi-final uh, how ridiculous it sounds but at the end of the day it is another game it is more experience for us and it will stand to us like it's more game time and you just really had to take the positives out of it now obviously we are a bit kind of sh shocked and whatnot kind of um to see that we did have to play the second semi-final but like we've soon got over that because we straight away it was cut out it was said girls just forget about it. we're playing a game that's it we're going out to win we're going out to play we're going out to enjoy ourselves and that's it just get over it kind of thing so look it was just it's all down to management really just told us to take the positives out of it and that's what we did Roisin and Kate in particular yeah. uh, what a year they've had they're now Leinster champions with Rhinus again after their victory the weekend just gone by um, it takes an awful lot for what they're doing at the moment to be playing at a high level with two clubs at the same time of year. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like the two of them are just unbelievable. Like the just the stuff they've achieved is unreal, and I don't know how they keep going to be honest. Like, but sure, when you're that like successful, it's just kind of such such a thing that just keeps pulling you back and again and again and um, but yeah we were all up the match there yesterday that Kate and Roche were playing and like it's not as if they're just two girls sitting on the bench for the camogie as well like they're two of probably the best players on the team as well and they really showed yesterday so like they're just they're just well able for it at this stage I suppose they've known no different like they've grown up playing that and sure Kate's only turned 18 there and Roisin's 21 or 22 and um, it's just what they've done all their life and they know no different so I suppose they're used to it at this stage. Well, not to put any pressure on Kate, but as you mentioned, she played earlier this month. Yeah. Um, she played brilliantly for you guys in the semi-final and in the Leinster final. She was a key player, a player of the game in the semi, then gets player of the game in the Leinster final yesterday as well. Uh, to achieve that across two codes, she was the Offaly player of the year when 17 in two different codes last year as well. That's a superstar in the making, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. There's no other word to describe her. Like, she's just so unreal, Like, and she just it just 
t- comes to her naturally like she just takes it all in her stride but I think again that's bet in from like Colin and Mikey Colin her being her brother and Mikey being her father being the management of the team as well like it just it keeps her in track really and she just the fact that she enjoys it so much as well I'd say that just kind of keeps her humble and whatnot but um, yeah she just she's just a superstar really Having lost a semi-final last year, and maybe been, or two years ago, I should say, the experience maybe been a bit different to this year. What's it feel like to have had the last couple of weeks now building up towards an All Ireland final? Um, again, it's just so different because we've never we've not been in this position before. But um, like we're just kind of we're just looking forward to it at the moment. Um, again, the buzz is building, and we just can't wait to get out and play. Um, everyone's kind of just talking about like it's another game, and whatnot. But um, yeah, we just can't wait at the moment. Was it particularly special winning a semi-final in your home grounds as well? Because I saw the pictures of you know, the hard work that was going on all yeah. week to make for Ban its very best ahead of that semi-final. Oh yeah, but like when when we when the news came out that we actually had the home semi-final, it was just unreal. Like it kind of just told us like we have to win this. Like and the crowds that came out were oh ridiculous. We never expected, it. really, really never expected it. Like the whole of Offaly really got behind us. It wasn't just for Ban or it wasn't just the Nave Kieran parishes. Like the whole of Offaly got behind us and people you'd never expect to see there were just there like no interest in football just because they know people play in like an All-Ireland semi-final like it was just unreal and um, so yeah it was class to have everyone there and the they parish every, everyone really got behind us. It must be a spectacular time for the area as well because Shannon Bridge are getting ready this weekend for a Leinster Junior semi-final for Ban have won their first county title in a quarter of a century this year as well it's just kind of been a remarkable time with you guys winning the Leinster title as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think we're really lucky that the lads have all done really well this year as well, actually, because it's just kind of made people realise, oh, the lads are doing well, the girls are doing well, just get behind everyone. Um, and because the, uh, for Banner obviously knocked out of the Leinster Championship, the support is still carrying on to, like, moved on to the girls. Like, the kind of, as kind of you expect, the sole focus would have been on the lads but now they kind of see how successful we're doing and again we've never got this far so everyone is really getting behind us. Nave Paul, have you put any call into your Belfast opposition for the final or is it difficult <coughs> even to get information? Um, yeah well to be honest we haven't really looked at the other teams that are, we've come up against um, so far um, at all in, even in the Leinster Championship we don't really well not the management probably do but the players actually don't hear an awful lot about um, the opposition and it's probably the, it suits us really because we just kind of go out and play our own game and love how to show how good we are kind of thing and um, yeah we haven't really heard much about them we kind of know their name where they're from and that's about it so it probably kind of keeps their nerves at bay as well not knowing too much about them and their star players and whatnot. Well look I can tell you now they've won eight Antrim titles in oh, a row. Great. Kind of <laughs> years, so I'll do some of the home <laughs> but I'm sure you know that any team you're going to meet at this level are going to be good yeah year. yeah absolutely no look sure we've won five in a row as well in Offaly and um, but that doesn't really say much you know because standard in Offaly the last few years hasn't been great now the other teams are obviously catching up to us as well and um, like we got bet in the league final this year as well so um you know it's I kind of that doesn't really say a lot like that they've won the eight I know obviously it's a stronghold or whatever up there but again you just don't know what to expect really because when it goes out to Leinster stages or Ulster stages it's just a completely different ball game then so yeah it's kind of best off knowing as little as we can about them and um, trying to keep the nerves at bay mainly so yeah we don't really look into that too much when I look at your team sheet now compared to five years ago Connor Park when you won the Offaly title and you yeah. started this run a lot of the same names are still there across the team as well is this a very closely bonded unit because of how much you've achieved together? Oh, absolutely, yeah, sure. We've experienced everything together, really. Like, um, sure, the five in a row, like, most of the girls would have all them five medals, which is just unbelievable achievement for us. Like, um, And, again, it's just it's probably just builded us as a family more than anything else. Um, again, like, I was, I think I might have been 16, 15 or 16. I think I could have been 16 playing that game. Had an under-16 final the next day as well. So, like, you know, we've all gone through that all together and we've known no different. And, again, like, it just makes us kind of want to spend so much time with each other because of that success, like, and just kind of to build ourselves as a team more than anything else. What would it mean if this weekend you were to not just play in the first All-Ireland final but leave Cavan with the all Ireland winners medal. Oh, I really don't know. Like, I can't explain the feeling. Like, the town would just lose the run of themselves. Like, it would be unbelievable. But yeah, we're just going to take it kind of one step at a time and take first half as it comes. Take every ten minutes and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's I don't know. It's kind of something you don't want to think about too much, just in case. Like, but yeah, no, it would be unbelievable.
As a player, do you relish a week like this because you're up in Dublin now, you're in DC, you're studying at the moment, yeah. you'll be up and down probably to West Offaly a bit between now and the weekend as well. Do you relish a week like this? Yeah, well, like we'll be home for training now tomorrow evening and then just like it around on Friday evening. But I suppose it's just about keeping yourself occupied and keeping yourself just going and doing college work and getting through like the girls at home doing work and everything like that. And just really kind of keeping your mind off it, but just getting yourself right for the game, sleep, food and everything. But um yeah, I just kind of wanted to be Friday evening now and kind of be the build up for the next day and whatnot. Are you a nervous tension kind of person or how do you take away? Oh God, yeah, definitely. I definitely won't sleep Friday evening now, but um, I know like the girls will probably meet up like a good few times during the week or even on Friday evening, like after the kick round of the meeting, we'll probably, you know, all go back to someone's house and just have a chat and just keep everyone's mind kind of off it, but at the same time focusing ourselves to get ready for the next day. But yeah, we'd we'd kind of be a big nervous bunch then. Given, I guess, in the final in terms of the management team, you mentioned there's family connections all over the place, yeah. the players in the team as well. Um, I guess that probably helps as well. These guys have all got involved with coaching the team, I presume, because they want to see their sisters and daughters yeah. do well. Yeah, absolutely. Like even the girls, like that have sisters and whatnot on the team, or cousins. Like, just you know, if you're just not feeling up to train and you'd feel guilty now, then that your sister's going, oh, geez, I have to go kind of thing. But um, no, it just it does really help push along people. And like because we all knew. Colin and Mikey and Porig and Johnny before even they got involved in the setup, you just kind of want to do it to please them and to kind of like do it for them nearly. So, you know, it's everyone kind of doing it for each other. So it's, yeah, it is. It really does help that there's family bond.